Okay, doubt the channel strip setting slot at the top of the channel strip on either a selected audio instrument track or a selected audio track. Okay. You can think of this as the primary master outside container, so to speak. Okay, this is the the highest tier of the ladder. Okay, this is the outside folder, so to speak, and within which everything else is contained. And if we left click on that um, channel strip setting slot, we see at the top the name of the assigned channel strip setting, and underneath that is this bunch of common commands. Next and previous channel strip setting, which simply jumps, you know, next or forward or backwards in the library. Copy channel strip setting, which also has a key command, yeah, which is an alt command and C and V, like copy and paste, yeah. <coughs> then you've got reset channel strip, which sets it all back to nothing, but doesn't actually delete any content on the channel or the track rather, and save channel strip setting as, save as performance, which we're not going to look at now, delete channel strip setting, which actually deletes it from the library, and then underneath is the library, which as I've shown, matches the library over here on the right. So you can actually choose your library presets for channel strips here. You don't have to have this library open over on the right. Now if I Alt and L to close that library, <coughs> you no longer get the white haloing effect right on these slots when I click on them. Okay. If I click now on this upper channel strip setting slot, instead of it becoming haloed in white and the library menu changing over here, the library folders, when I left click on this channel strip setting slot now with the library closed over here, what happens is the menu appears and it stays open. I don't have to keep the mouse holding down, right? And I can then choose my channel strip setting from the library here instead of having it over here. All right? And that's the same for audio instrument track channel strips as well. With the library shut, you don't get that highlighting of any of these slots. So again, if I left click on the upper slot, which is the channel strip setting slot, the menu appears and stays open. Okay, and then I can choose any of the menu commands or load a channel strip from the library. Load a preset, okay? Alright. <coughs> so this is like the upper container, this is the, the sort of master container which contains everything. The channel strip presets you know, load up everything, um, all the effects, EQ, and in the case of audio instrument tracks, it also loads the plug-in instrument and the sample set or patch. Okay. So I'll bring the library back now, Alt L, and the white haloing appears straight away. You see, now if I left click, nothing. But if I left click and hold, the library appears. But as soon as I let go. It just disappears. It doesn't stay open. All right. So you have to keep the left mouse down on it, and then select, and then let go. All right. Alrighty. So let's look at some of these commands, which are the same for the channel strip setting slot for either audio tracks or audio instrument tracks. Okay. So we left click on this slot, and we've got next channel strip. Okay. And if you look over here, it's on male creamy lead vocals at the moment. So if I go next channel strip and let go, it just jumps to the next channel strip, male rapper vocals, and it loads that up. Yep. And it now sounds like this. 96 degrees. Again, I do next channel strip and it will jump to male slap back vocals over here in the library. Okay, it's pretty obvious. 96. And if you're at the end of a folder's contents and you choose next channel strip, strip setting, it'll jump to the next folder, first preset. So it jumps to speech and chooses the first preset, female radio. 96. Okay, and loads that. <coughs> okay, the next setting, oh, sorry, the previous setting is the same, it just steps backwards every time. 
and it, it, you know it'll step back through the folders as well if it's come to the to the end of a folder. So that's just like next and forward, right? Okay. Previous channel strip. Previous channel strip setting, etc. Okay, then we've got this copy and paste channel strip setting, and that's very cool. You can either do it with the menu here, or you can use Alt Command and C to copy and Alt Command and V to paste. Okay, so I'll copy male rapper vocals, which is the preset channel strip at the moment. I will copy well because okay, I mean you could go to the next audio track and simply choose male creamy lead vocals. Oh sorry, male rapper vocals, and it will load up the same preset. But let me reset this channel strip. Okay, I'll go left click on the channel strip setting slot and do reset to channel strip and it's reset now back to having no preset and I'll also actually change its output to stereo out. Okay, so they're both going to stereo out. Okay. <coughs> so you could simply, you know, highlight this audio track and with the setting slot at the top highlighted there, um, just choose male rapper vocals and it would load up the same preset. But let's say you've loaded the preset channel strip male rapper vocals into this audio track channel strip and let's say you've modified the compressor in some way. Alright, so I've now modified the compressor and I've modified the EQ and it now sounds like this, whoops, like this. 96 Yeah, not you as well, just this one. 96 degrees Okay, so I've tweaked that male rapper vocal channel strip preset and now it's no longer the same as the original so I want to copy this modified channel strip preset so I just highlight the track left click on the channel strip setting slot go down and choose copy channel strip and I go to this audio track and simply do paste channel strip setting and it just pastes in an exact copy of the channel strip that was on that track and now they both sound the same 96 I will also copy the fader position by the way okay as well as the output 96 degrees so for example I'll reset this channel strip okay look uh, reset channel strip and I'll set its output to bus 1 again now I'll go to this audio track which has got its output assigned to stereo out as well as all these settings and I'll copy that channel strip setting there we go now I'll go to this audio track which is assigned to bus 1 now as its output now watch when I paste in the channel strip setting it will not only paste in the effects and the EQ from this channel strip for this track but it will also paste in the destination it will change the output watch settings Paste channel strip setting. Hup, hup, it's changed it to stereo out as well as adding in the EQ and the compressor. Okay, and uh, now they sound like this. 96 Okay, so that's next and previous channel strip setting commands. Copy and paste channel strip setting commands. And reset channel strip setting simply resets the channel strip but does not delete any content Okay, on that track. Okay, what else have we got? We've got save channel strip setting as. Okay, and I think we should um, uh, stop now and move on and do that as a new um, scene, so to speak. Okay, because we need to just look at that in a little bit of depth. Okay, so let's now look at saving channel strip settings. Okay. <laughs> 